joining us for this exclusive interview is Coach Nenad Vucinic. Coach, uh, we heard that you will be parting ways with the Gilas Pilipinas program and the Samahang Basketball Pilipinas. Can you just share with us the reasons behind this departure? Look, uh, initially when I came uh, to work with uh, with Gilas, I was invited by my good friend and uh, and uh, mentor, Ted Baldwin. Um, and uh, since he is not part of the program anymore, um, I really want to to, to leave um, uh, at that time, but I was convinced by him uh, and also uh, by uh, incoming uh, director Chot Reyes and uh, all, all the other people in the organization to stay. And I didn't regret staying. It was uh, it was uh, a great experience. We worked well together. Um, but now, you know, with the with the new season sort of coming up, you know, I reconsidered and uh, and thought. Uh, 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 I may look for, for some other opportunities, you know, but I've got nothing but uh, really great things to say about the people uh, in Graham and, uh, you know, I'm happy uh, that I came and met all the people and I tried to help as much as I could, uh, but for me, probably have to take a different path now. Coach, uh, very short and sweet was your stint here in the Philippines, but can you just, in a nutshell, describe how it was working with the coaching staff and the players and the uh, SBP, the management of the Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas, in your very short stay with the squad. Yes, I mean, I had great uh, great times uh, uh, with all the good people that are in a, in a SBP organization. Uh, so, you know, I have no regrets of, of taking this job and, and, and uh, having fun. We, we will work really hard because it was a difficult situation with unavailable unavailability of the players but also coach Jot wasn't available so I had to step in uh, and I did the best I could and uh, you know there is no really hard feelings about anything but it's just another option. You were part of a very surreal moment when you flew into Auckland coaching the away team but then played in a venue that was packed with Filipinos like how weird was that moment how surreal did it feel for you? You're right it was absolutely weird the first time I have coached against the team that I played and coached for 25 years, and uh, and to be in in a very familiar environment, uh, surrounded by uh, those people, you know, from New Zealand organization, the players, the coaches, um, and the venue as well, and then uh, the venue being, you know, at least half of the people were Filipinos, uh, and plus the fact that they really showed us, you know, um, um, how we should play basketball. They have uh, came out of firing and played very well. You know, unfortunately, we had a bad day, uh, bad night uh, that night and, and lost really convincingly. But the whole experience, as you said, it was surreal. And uh, um, But it was fun as well. You were here during a very uh, challenging time in the Philippine basketball, of course. We know that the results of the pandemic being um, straining the schedules of the different leagues. You talked about the availability of the players and the coaches. But um, what was it like working with the SBP, with the Chairman uh, Manny Pangilinan, and of course, President Alpan Lilio? What, what can you say about your working relationship with those two? All the time that I spent with with these people were very valuable for me. And, uh, and uh, I think, you know, they, they also... Uh, um, they also uh, saw that you know I was giving everything I had, and uh, and they were appreciative of that. And you know I have nothing but uh, but great things to say about uh, the boss MVP and the boss Al, boss Butch, you know Yvette, you know all those people as well as coaching staff. It was it was a really pleasure, and uh, how to you know to be involved again with uh, with any any kind of way in in Philippines basket. You coach really young players. Uh, among all of them, who are you excited to see most? Who are you excited to see develop as international basketball players? Look, you know, I mean, they all done well. Uh, I think even, you know, apart from that New Zealand game was, was really tough, you know. But uh, the two Korean games and the India game, you know, they... Uh, they all really stepped up and, 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 and played really hard. Probably the one that I would point out is Gio Chu, you know, who uh, with a uh, late uh, defection from, from uh, um, Anj Kwame, um, it was a very difficult position for him. But he went to Korea and played extremely well against uh, Ratliff and, uh, and uh, uh, also Kim, you know, two big Korean guys that, you know, have been dominant and he played very well and I was really pleased for him and I hope he's going to continue his development. 
Coach Nenad, finally, we all know that the international basketball community is very small. So, will we be seeing you come 2023 for the FIBA World Cup here in the Philippines? I hope so. I hope I'm going to be there as a spectator. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, but, you know, I have a feeling that I, I, that my time in the in, in Philippines is not finished yet. Uh, so, you know, I don't know when will I be back, but I, I'm sure I will be back and working as well here. So. Coach, thank you for your contributions and all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you very much, Carlo.